Hey everyone, I was not expecting to make yet another video today, but um, I actually got asked, asked a very loaded question. Um, a dear brother in Christ, uh, Mike, had asked a question um, with one of the uh, in one of the comment sections in one of the videos I had uploaded today uh, with the Bible reviews and it was such a loaded question it, it, it is actually a very good question um, and what he had asked me was um, my thoughts on um, the KJV only movement <laughs> um, I, I answered him trying to make it really short. Um, Y'all know me, but <laughs> trying to make it short because it was in the comment section. And um, at first I wasn't going to answer it. I'm like, almost immediately, I'm like, ooh, I don't know what that was. But <laughs> almost immediately, um, I'm like, I've got to make a video about this. And I'm like, it's it, it's like he got this, this spirit within me, like, shook um it awakened that in me I'm like oh my goodness but I'm like no I need to answer him I went ahead and answered him um and the more I got to think of the more I'm like no I've got to make a video about this um I do touch on it a little bit and in some of the videos um that I uh that I have done and um not a whole lot. I haven't spent a whole lot of time on it, but, um, just little snippets, little, little, dropping a little bit of seasoning, like a little, you know how you season anyone who cooks, you know, you drop a little bit of extra seasoning in there and just a little snippet, little snippets there. Um, I drop a little bit of my thoughts about it in there. And basically what I say is this and this is my thoughts this is going to be the video for the KJV only movement and this can be for any um any translation only movements um and I can I can definitely talk be talking about this um I when I first came to Christ I was um NIV only uh, for the longest time, for the longest time, I wouldn't, I was, of course, I didn't have any other translations, but, um, it was only, I, I tried King James, and I could not, I just could not understand it, so I stuck with, I would not go to anything else, and I was like, nope, I, but that was me personally, I did not try to persuade anyone else, I was just me, that was myself, and, um, but it does excuse me, it doesn't matter what translation you read. I don't care if you are in K, in, uh, NK, uh, KJV. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring NIV and KJV together, <laughs> but <laughs> KJV or NIV only, I, I don't care what translation you are, if you are bent on it and that's, and that is the one you read, you will not budge. That's great. That's fine. If you are growing with Christ, that's great. As long as you continue growing. If you are, and no matter what translation it is, if it's um, King James, if it's New King James, if it's NLT, NIV, Amplified, um, um, ESB, no matter what translation it is, if you are moving close, if you're moving in the right direction, that's great. If you don't feel a pull from him, that's great. Um, I don't have a problem. Me personally, I don't have a problem with that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to cheer you on. Um, I'm going to be right there with you. Yes, um, me now where I'm at, my walk now, now I like getting different translations and looking at how different translations word things. I'm growing in that way. I'm growing in that fashion. Um, 
And yes, I I have said this a time or two doing videos. I have I have encouraged y'all check out different translations, see what they say, but I will not push you to do it. I will encourage you to do it. I will encourage you. There's a difference between encouraging and pushing. I will not try to force you. You can't first you, you can't you, you, Lord, help me here. Um, you can't force any. Uh, you can't actually force anyone to do it, anyways. You're not. You're not going to get anywhere with that. We cannot tear each other down. We can't tear each other down at all. We need to build one another up. I do not. Um, I do not feel. It's the right thing to do. <sighs> Forgive me for getting flustered. It just irritates me. It irritates me and it really upsets me. Because I have seen so many times Or I've seen in videos and I've gone in the comment section and I've seen baby Christians. Feeling like crap. Because they read from a different translation than the King James Version. But they're growing. And you, and there are these Christians, these, what are supposed to be their brothers and sisters, those who have been walking with Christ longer, supposed to be building them up and encouraging them, encouraging them, but they're not, they're tearing them down and telling them that they're not doing anything good and they are just ripping them apart. And it's so heartbreaking. It is so heartbreaking. We cannot be doing that to one another. We are not one another's judge in that way. We are to judge righteously. That is not judging righteously. Because we want to, they want to, Because it's been it's been said that King James is supposed to be the only accurate scripts, and there's been so much argument about it. And I'm not even going gonna go into all that. I'm not. That's not what this video is going to even be about. I'm not going to sit here and do that. I'm not going to sit here and have a debate. Like I'd have a debate. I mean, it's just me. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. I'm not. And I will not have a debate like that on this channel. Mike, thank you for having that question. And I hope and pray I, I answer that. You know, uh, the answer I gave you was... I uh, how, how to say this? I hope I answered it in was what you were looking for, not in a way uh, to win your approval, but was in a way that, you know, what you were kind of looking for. You know how we can ask questions, but we're kind of searing off in this way. Sometimes, though, it ends up getting answered in this direction. You know what I kind of mean? Uh, kind of mean. I hope you know what I mean. Um, but... No, I, I am not for, um, I just feel like this is just going all over, but I don't mean for it to, I really don't mean for it to, but I just feel, oh, scratch that, I strongly believe we are not to be tearing each other down, we are to be building each other up, and we should not be 
criticizing one another because we're reading a certain a certain uh, translation. Um, there are certain translations I will not read. There are certain translations I do not have. There are some tra there's a translation I do have, but I do not read. Um, there are some translations I do not have, but I would like to read. Um, now you may even be asking, you know, am I completely against King James? Am I completely against some of the other translations that I do not have that I have not given away? No, if the Lord led me to pick a particular Bible for the giveaways, I'm going to be obedient to him. That's what that's about. It's not about me. If he led me to like the King James Bible, I got a King James Bible. I did a review on it. Y'all can look it up. I I did a review on it and um and we've got other King James Bibles in the house. If he led me to read it, I would read it. I just don't understand it. I I don't. I've tried. I do not understand King James, and that is okay. A lot of people don't understand King James. To me, it's Shakespeare. I, I don't speak Shakespeare. I, I can't. It, to me, it's like a foreign language. It's almost like if I were to... Um, if I were to set in front of you, um, a Hungarian Bible in front of you and told you, here, read it. No, it's really, it's the legit, it's legit. Read it. It's the Holy Scriptures. Read it. You look at me like I have like 10 faces. You're like, I can't read this. I don't understand it. That's how I feel about the King James. I mean, yeah, of course, there's, there are some things in King James that I understand, but... And I'm not the only one. There are so many people out there who do not understand King James. Who do not understand King James. So, um, it's okay. And there are some people who don't under, you know, who, who, who aren't filling it with the new King James. There's some people who aren't filling it with the NIV. There are some people who aren't filling it with, um, the Amplified. There are some people who aren't filling it with the ESV. And then there's people who love the ESV, 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 who love the King James, who love all these different translations. And that is okay. We just cannot go around criticizing and cutting down one another. We need to stop that. That's what the enemy does. And we need to open our eyes. The family needs to open their eyes. We need to open our eyes and see what the enemy is doing. The enemy is coming into the house and ripping the house apart. And we need to stop him in his tracks. We need to sit there and be, sit here and be here for one another. Pray for one another. Build up the house of the Almighty. We need to build his church up. And not sit back and allow the enemy to tear, tear the church down. We need to stop it. How do we stop it? By stop tearing one another down. So, I hope this really answers the question. I hope this clarifies so much. This is a really um, sensitive subject to me. Because... Um, like I said, I see the comments and I see so many like baby Christians and even those who are growing closer to the Lord get cut down, criticized and everything else. And that's horrible. That's despicable. That's disgusting. And I will not, will not have that on this channel. If I ever see that on this channel, anybody belittling, belittling anyone. For reading any kind of translation on this channel. They will be blocked and removed immediately. I can tell y'all that right here, right now. That will not happen. We will pray for you. But I will not tolerate it. Not at all. 
Not at all. Because that is not the spirit of that is not the spirit of God. That is not the spirit that He has given us. That's a completely different spirit right there. So I guess right there is what I told you, Brother Mike. That's actually the nutshell right there. That it's it's a different spirit. It's a different spirit. For growing with what we have. To what he has blessed us with. Then we're on the right track. Our Heavenly Father will lead us where we need to be. Our Heavenly Father will lead us to what transla translation he needs us to be in. I used to be in NIV for the longest time. And then I went from the NIV to the NLT. Then I went from the NIV to the NLT to, to all these different translations he had led me to read and I was my struck just mind blown it was amazing and it was like uh, accelerating and I know those of you who are watching right now who are one translation which like I said I think is great if you're all growing great but you know I just I can see just one day coming, possibly. I mean, might not happen. But for those of you it, that it will happen, that one day when it comes, that he has you go into different translations and you start reading it and you start getting into them. It's like you're reading the scriptures for the first time all over again. And a craving. It's just you start getting excited all over again it's it's, a, it's an amazing feeling it truly is so don't ever let anyone limit you or tell tell you what you're doing is completely wrong when you are getting closer to him and you're growing deeper and going further in your faith don't you ever let the enemy minimize you when god has optimizing is optimizing you when he is, he is maximizing you. Ever. Listen to our Heavenly Father. So, I had to get on here and share this with y'all. And um, thank you. I love you all so much. I truly, truly do. And I just have such a love for all of you. A deep, deep, passionate love for you all. Um, and I know he truly deeply loves you all too i just feel it right here just i can't see y'all but he loves you he loves you so much he loves his children he loves all of us so until next time much love god bless stay in his word <laughs>